Great. Thank you so much. Um, Dr. Daniel Ruiz, uh, Director Innovation Athlete Science of the, the Innovation Lab, basically, um, which is very a very secret place inside of the Adidas world. Uh, More secret one. <laughs> at least for most of, not for, for, for not for many people, some, some people can get inside, but I mean, I'm an uh, Adidas athlete for 10 years now, mm -hmm. and it was the first time that I was able to enter yesterday. Yep. Unfortunately, we were not able to film anything, but yep. I was lucky enough to find you upstairs, yeah. and I was uh, just like, maybe you have 10 minutes to talk about what is your job, basically, because a lot of people are very interested in, um, for sure, performance products uh, in the running shoe world, like uh, all the Adi Zero branch, and there was a lot of like innovation and development especially in the last two years in that range uh, of products. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your daily job. Mm -hmm. What are you guys in the innovation lab actually doing? Okay. So first, I, I will answer first with a question to you, because <laughs> since it was the first time that you, that you were there, did you like it? Yes, for sure. I wanted to take a lot of pictures. Actually, I wanted to go on the treadmill myself to yes. be tested and to see how the, the super shoes work on myself, if mm -hmm. I'm a responder or not, and yeah, okay. we didn't have the time, unfortunately. Yeah. So, no, really, uh, I, I, I'm glad to be here, and, and definitely, I, I know that it's the most secret place, probably, of the company. There is a reason for that, but that does not mean that it's closed for everyone. So, the relevant people that uh, is involved from the development, of development process of any innovation, or our most important products, they go there. And they go there to work. And it's a working place. It's a working environment with a high demand of, of knowledge, with a high demand of curiosity. Um, we need to remain curious. And this is, I would say, that one of the m most difficult things that we need to do as innovators is remain curious every single day. What we do is new. What we do is not something that is on the textbooks. Um, anything and all these athletes that we are seeing today in Road to Records or that they are visiting our lab, they are top of the top, they are world record holders, and therefore they are basically changing the game. They are uh, visiting an area uh, from the human point of view that has never been visited before. Yep. And we don't have values for those. So those values for us are completely new. It's something that we need to learn from it. And that's happening in a daily basis. That's, that's what we do. We learn every day with the data that we collect and with the most innovative technologies that we have available or that we make available for us and for our athletes. That's our daily job. <laughs> that's very impressive. And I, I think, I, I mean, I watched the races yeah. and there were some new shoes uh, introduced to the world which will Released, we will be released later. But I also, mm, because I've a very p I paid a lot of attention to details, mm -hmm. um, there were some kind of sensors used, especially with the new shoes. So I mean, you guys were measuring something probably to work already on the <laughs> update, which will be coming later, right? Yeah, we we measure. As I said, this is our daily job, right? Uh, it's a group of engineers, um, of course, Collecting doctors data. in different in different areas related to biomechanics, neuroscience, physiology, and we are all working on the interaction between the product, the intervention, and the human, and always aiming performance. Um, for that, mm, it's, it's, not, it's not a secret that all the brands, we are uh, striving for it, and we are collecting data, and we collect data on the field, we collect the data as well in the lab. Nowadays, we have technologies that allow us to collect real data during racing, and of course I will not disclose what we are looking for, what we are capturing, uh, because that's confidential, but sure we were collecting data today, yeah, and this is coming from, from our team as well, and I'm, I'm, really, I'm really glad to say that because what we did is, is really novel and uh, eventually we might be disclosing it. There will be a huge update in the performance a running brand in coming in June. I would think the data you collected today will be already used for the the one coming maybe next year if the cycle will stay with one year. Um, is it um, is it a like is it a challenge to 
become better every year? Because do you think there is perfection in running shoes at some point? Because if you uh, like ev evolve like from year to year, is there at <coughs> some point the perfect shoe which can be used? Or do you think there's always some small percentage which is... Th that is a really good question. Um, perfection is, is something that the athletes and professional athletes uh, strive for. Uh, there is a perfection for each of our consumers because because it's something really individual. It's, it's a perception. Perfection is a perception as well. So it's really difficult to say that we with this product uh, we we nail it for everyone, but definitely we strive for it. We that's that's what we do 24/7. 24/7 we try to have the perfect shoe for for you, for me, for our athletes, and. And when is that going to happen, or if it already happened? Well, I can tell you that seven world records in 21, if it's not perfect, for me, it's looking close to perfection, yes. right? Yeah, awesome. How many years are you guys basically ahead of what we see now in terms of products? I mean, that's really hard to guess from an outside. I mean, when I was younger and I had not that much insight in the sports shoe like industry mm -hmm. um, I thought okay now they bring the new model mm -hmm. probably they worked on it in January when it is released in let's say to the fall marathon season basically mm -hmm. typically fall marathon season is uh, mm -hmm. uh, a good time for uh, introduction of new products yeah but then w the, m the longer I, I, I work with Adidas and the more people I get to know and for sure I'm interested always in product and product development mm -hmm. how many years if you can tell mm -hmm. are you guys already ahead of time I mean you work probably on shoes right now which will be released in maybe two years and I can Tell I have to I have to be careful what I can tell. But <laughs> as when I was in Kenya training in February, I met yes. a lot of guys of the global team being there. It's also interesting for the probably for for our viewers. Um, I mean, you test a lot in the lab, and I will ask later also what what the tech is in the lab because I saw it yesterday, but we ki couldn't film it. Maybe you can tell about this uh, as well. But also, you guys go out into the like in the field, in the in the in the reality mm -hmm. to test it on the road with like world class athletes mm -hmm. on a regular basis in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, and what I had in my hands there, I mean, I'm s I still I don't know what kind of model it will be at some point, but it looked already really interesting and very different to what we have now. So the question is how many years are you guys basically ahead of time? Um, I cannot tell you exactly how many okay. years, but yeah. we are ahead of time. We are ahead of time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we, we definitely, you know, I will put it back even. Mm -hmm. So... When did you... Or other question. Maybe we can talk about the past. No, but let me, let okay, me follow okay. on, my, on my response. So okay. 2008, uh, you know, Haley Gerber Selassie, and we can we can talk about yes. many other athletes. Performance is on our DNA as a company, and and that never changes. So, no matter what we are working for the future, is based as well on the knowledge that we have from the past. So, more than how ahead we are, is as well how back mm -hmm. we are looking on the things that we did. Yeah. That is allowing us to come up with these unique solutions that um, that basically provide a benefit or optimize the benefits for our athletes. Um, it's, it's difficult to tell you, okay, we are um, whatever, 24, 48 months. It does not matter because we might come tomorrow with something that mm -hmm. is completely new. As mm -hmm. I said, our daily work is to be ahead and being curious that we learn something new that is not on the textbooks because cannot be with the athletes that we are working and with the materials that uh, that we have available because are new and all in a sudden we we learn something and if we can uh, have a solution in place in in three days why not uh, we should implement it we will not wait three years right are we thinking how the sport is going to be in 2030? Definitely, we, that yeah. definitely. We, we, all, we all have thoughts about that. You have thoughts about that, right? So <laughs> Very good, very interesting. Um, not sure if you are allowed to talk about it, but um, as you said, like, or as I said or mentioned earlier, 
the innovation lab, not too many people are allowed to mm -hmm. go inside, and mm -hmm. I was not allowed to film. But maybe you can describe with words what do people have to expect if they can imagine the innovation lab. You cannot tell probably specifically about what kind of tech you no, use. I can, but I can give you a Because short. for me it was very interesting, also yeah. with the, the, the brief introduction we got, also with the testing of some of the Kenyan athletes, with yep. Abel Kimchumba, yep. and that was really, really interesting. Also the approach you guys have in terms of uh, what factors are, um, are improving performance, if you can tweak on that. Yeah, for sure. I, I guess that you were touching base with, with some of the team members and, and definitely um, what you can imagine as a space is, is a temple of dreams for sports scientists, for engineers, for dreamers on the sports field, yes. on the sports industry. It's, it's a high-level tech space for really high-level knowledge people that are mm, absolutely curious and that we basically uh, spent the whole day, 12 hours, day after day, and we uh, still want to spend more hours there. It's so comfortable that it, it's becoming our own home. I can tell you that the atmosphere um, of the teams that we mm. are working there is so unique. I, and, and that is what is making great work as mm. well. That collaboration that we have, we, we work as a really strong team and and that ad atmosphere is you 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 saw it right you enter on that Absolutely. space and you feel this is performance this is something else is is uh, we work a lot in the last years um to improve what already was really good and and now yeah it's uh, it's a space where of course we have any kind of motion capture systems uh, instrumented uh, uh, areas um, for capturing any kind of gate that uh, you could possibly imagine in, in different ways uh, for different movements, uh, any kind of biomechanical, physiological, neurophysiological, neuroscience, perception. Also metabolism, right? With uh, the as with well, the yeah, metabolism, yeah. which is on the area of, of physiology, so cause of transportation. Mm -hmm. Um, well, this is something that we are doing as a brand and definitely we uh, strive for that and, and it's informing a lot when we are engineering and, devel and developing products. Um, we need to remain hard workers, we need to remain curious and that's what is bringing uh, innovation uh, at the end. And we are an innovative brand, we want to help our athletes with the latest innovation and that's what we, what this team is doing. Maybe just for that people can imagine how how m how big is the team? Like how many people are working in in in, in your team basically uh, on a daily basis in the innovation lab? Is it like probably people? I mean, Adidas is a big company. But maybe people think it's fifty, but probably it's more like ten. Yeah. So there are mm, different teams interacting in the in the innovation lab for different sport branches, maybe or. Ah, you cannot tell. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and 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 is 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 yeah. definitely a, a a big group of of people, of course. Yeah. And what I can tell you is that there are different profiles, of yeah. course. As yeah. I said, from scientists on different areas, uh, sports is very different. Physiology, sports science, biomechanics, engineering. So mm, all that you can imagine that might affect the development of uh, a shoe, of a garment, of a future implement that might improve performance yeah how long are you leading the team already and how long is uh, how many people like in, in the constellation of the team how long is the team working together in that constellation you cannot tell probably yeah we cannot we ah, will not okay enter okay. on this question because maybe I just can tell my impression because mm -hmm. uh, my impression was the products of Adidas I mean I use them for a long time they're really good for sure mm -hmm. but there was a big switch in uh, coming in with the summer of 2020, basically, mm -hmm. as a runner, mm -hmm. my pers pers perspective as a runner, um, the introduction of Arios Pro 1 led to a lot of other um, evolutions, mm -hmm. at least from, I just, because I can just see what was released, so I don't know if how many years maybe went into the, the concept of re thinking basically the Adi Zero branch because then there was not just the, the Adios became the Adios Pro. Then the, the Boston 
9 to the Boston 10 was like completely different shoe. Uh, Takumi, uh, Takumi is uh, new. Yeah, mm, what we can say is as a brand, we always strive for performance since it's on, on our DNA, right? So yeah. we don't need to, anytime that you look at this brand, we always did that. We will keep doing that because that's our aim. Helping our athletes, impossible is nothing, and definitely that's what we want. We want to bring the best solution for the athlete. Awesome. Thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for the quick, like, uh, I was like just asking if you have some, uh, some time. And uh, Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for sharing thank your, your uh, daily job and your work. And uh, thank you for thanks for your work, actually. Thank you for being here and enjoy the rest of your day. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much.